Dolls and Glam Jits. This video is going to be based on these four beautiful wigs that I purchased. In this video, you get to see how I apply them and you also get to see how I wear them in different styles. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy this video and stay tuned. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm coming in with this video because I wanted to show you some very beautiful wigs that i ordered it's only one of them that i've worn so far and that is the one that we're gonna start off with that is zinnia and i bought zinnia in 613 which is a blonde now i normally don't do blonde wigs at all because sometimes I guess it depends on the style. The, the blonde is just too much. But I absolutely love this wig in everywhere that I wore it. I just came back off a of vacation and I've had I've been wearing this wig for the last um five days. And I am absolutely loving it. Now, before I wore the wig, I did not get a chance to do an unboxing and show you how it looked before or show you how the wig was but i'm telling you now the wig is the exact same as it is i'm getting ready to show you when i put it on now the only difference is during the course of me wearing it over those five days my makeup kind of got on the front of the blonde just a little cut so it kind of tinted that blonde just here on the sides where it laid on my face but other than that the wig is just how i purchased it and I will be purchasing this again. And I'm going to definitely see if they have these in other colors. But I love this wig. So when I wore this wig, what I started off with, I did not wear a black cap with this wig. I wore um, one this color. And I made sure I put it here on right behind my hairline. Now, I don't use the makeup on my... Um, caps just because it's messy it takes a lot to dry and i don't want it seeping through and getting into my hair so um i'm going to be using a temporary method and it works with all types um of wig installations it even works with um when i do my you know how you bleach the knots on your lace frontals if you want to do a cheap quick method I do that with this and it works perfectly fine and I use the Sally Hansen medium glow airbrush leg makeup and I use that just to tint my cap so that it'll match you know what I have going on up under there so it will look my skin complexion versus this so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I'll do it because this wig has a middle part that is the only place that I will be putting any of that um airbrush spray I'm only putting it here now I do give it about a minute or two to just dry down um it's not a very wet spray it's um and it doesn't take long to dry like I said I like it to dry down just a little before I even put my wigs on it and then on top of that being that my wig is blonde I don't want it to stain it so I'm gonna give it about a minute or two to um you know dry down now i want to tell you a little bit about this wig before i even put it on like when i tell you 
this wig is everything. This wig is everything. Like, I've gotten so many compliments on this wig since I've been wearing it for the past, what I say, five days. I've been on vacation for about five days. Came back and I wore it for um, yesterday and today. So, that's five days. So, I've been wearing this wig every day for five days. Um, pretty much all day long because I've been on vacation. So, we've been out and about shopping and eating and doing all kinds of different fun activities. So, I wore this wig there. I've even gotten in the hot tub with this wig. I've even gotten in the swimming pool. We even went to the water park in this wig. And this wig is still holding up. Now, I am going to try after today. Like I said, I'm going to shampoo this wig. Um, and I'm only going to do that because of how it held up getting wet when I went on vacation. Um, it got, like I said, it got wet in the pool. It got wet in the jacuzzi hot tub. It got wet at the water park. So the wig actually held up real nice. So that kind of there told me that I can kind of put some water to it. So I'm going to kind of shampoo it, you know, lightly kind of maneuver that just so I can get some of that makeup out. But this wig, like I said, it is a bob wig. It is a blunt bob wig. Bomb blunt bob wig. It is only a middle part. You cannot change your parts um, of the wig. And just how this young lady wore it on here is just how it looks. That's just how I wore it. And, yeah, this wig is the bomb. Um, like I said, this is color 613. I purchased this from, um, well, actually, I purchased all of these. I purchased this wig from um, one of my local beauty supply stores. And um, the other ones, I actually ordered no it's one more i bought this one and the next one i'm going to do from the beauty supply and then the other two i ordered those so yeah i only paid twenty dollars and 99 cents for this wig yes and it comes with of course the care instructions and stuff and of course i'm a licensed stylist so i get my discount in the hair store so um i did get a discount on both of these wigs as well so yeah, that's pretty much about this wig. This wig is like a yakky texture. It's very thick. It's, it does not shed a lot. Now, every now and then it sheds here and there, but it does not shed. Like, it has not been shedding since I've gotten it wet in the hot tub or the pool or the water park. It hasn't gotten, you know, um, anything bad going on with it. And I'm going to get ready to put this on so I can show you. But I can't find my comb. So, hold on a second. I want to make sure I'm able to comb this down and, and show you how it looks. So, this is the wig. She's a blunt bot. And right here is where I was telling you all that um you can see where I got my makeup here. It kind of stained it right here where you see these two dark spots. That's where it laid up against my makeup. And um, this is the part. This is the wig. Y'all, this wig is the bomb. Now, inside the wig, it does have an adjustable strap. It does have two side clips in the front. And it has one comb in the back. Well, two combs in the front. And one comb in the back. So, how I actually put my wigs on, like I said, that's dried down. You don't have to worry about it, like I said, makeup and getting everywhere. So... I actually put my wigs on. I actually take those two combs and I push it up under that cap on both sides first. Then I align it to where I want my wig. And then I just pull this back of this cap down and take that comb and stick it up under my ponytail. So this is... My wig. This is Zinya. Of course, I said Zinya. This is Zinya, like I said, and she lays flat. Like I said, I done been in the water park with this wig, getting it wet. I have been in the jacuzzi hot tub with this wig, and it's been steamed to death. I have also been, well, actually, they mentioned I've been on the beach too. So this wig has been through a lot. And in five days, it still soft it's not frizzy like i said this wig this wig is the absolute bomb and i love it like i said i gotten so many compliments on this wig and one thing i love about this wig y'all it does not shift you know how you weigh wigs and throughout the day you know your wigs kind of shift and move around on your head like this wig stays in place like when i see my part stay like this it stayed like this and that's what i love now the part 
I got my cap a little bit too far back, but make sure your cap is completely right at that line so that you won't see that line of demarcation right there. So let me go ahead and straighten that up. So I'm just going to pull that cap down. So that you won't see that line there. But yeah, y'all, I am definitely going to be fine getting this wig in um, some more different colors if they offer. I haven't gone online yet to even see. I just got back off of vacation, so I've just decided to do this video today. I was like, let me do this video right now because I love, love, love this wig. I'm going to definitely order another one of these for backup just in case they decide not to sell them no more. And I'm going to order them in other colors. So I hope they have these in like pinks and lime greens and yellows because that would be bomb. But this wig, y'all, this wig is everything. So that's how it looks on the side. Yes, y'all. That's how that wig looks. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Y'all, if y'all little bobs, if you love blonde hair, if you ever had an experience with blonde hair and it just did not work out for you because I had bought wigs like that blonde and I bought it in the store, it was cute. And I was like, oh my God, why did I buy that? Like, you know how you buy a wig in the store and you try it and be like, yeah, and you get it home and try it and be like, why did I buy this? It's going to look right. This wig, I tried on this store and got home. Wig looked the same. Bomb. Like, as y'all can see, this wig is bomb. This wig is bomb. So, yeah, y'all grab this wig if y'all have not already gotten this wig. And um, I ain't even tell y'all who it was by. It is made by Outre, which is a very good hair brand um, company anyway, uh, with their human hair as well. Uh, this is the Daily Wig. It's premium synthetic fibers, lace part wig. It, um, like I said, the style is in you. It says heat resistant fiber, high tech. Safe up to 400 degrees. Although I would not be putting any heat or anything on this. I never do. And like I said, this wig has been through a lot. It has been through much water. So I am going to go ahead and shampoo it. Like I said, and before well, before I decided I wanted to shampoo it, I used some of my, my micellar water um, just to kind of remove some of the makeup. But that didn't work. So I said it's going to take me shampooing that out to get that... um makeup out of my hair but it's going to continue to get on the hair as long as i wear it because um like i said when i had my makeup on i was steaming in the jacuzzi and all of that so that makeup kind of got into the hair so as you can see if you see that dark darkened area right there which doesn't look bad because it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a color i have but yeah and i haven't I have not worn this behind my ear. So if you like to wear, but I don't like to wear my bobs like this. But so I see some people wear their bobs like this. I don't like the way that looks. So I, I don't suggest you wear it like that. But this is the bow. So I'm going to go on to my next wig, which is my next hair store wig. This is the one I purchased from my hair store here where I live. And um, I've all, what I did with all these wigs i've already taken all of them out of the packages y'all but i did not take the tags off of any one of them because i wanted to make sure i recorded this video and be able to show you the tags that went with each wig and so i didn't misplace anything so um i did just take all of them out of their bags though and um yeah this next wig that i'm gonna be showing y'all is oh, the absolute prettiest wig you could ever get in this color if you ever ran across wigs that we in ash blonde, like ash blonde is like the best, best color you can get, best go to color you can get outside of blonde itself. So I'm gonna put her on. I'm gonna show you how she looks first. And this one I paid, got it on sale for $19.99, which is very good because these wigs usually be $50, $60 in the store where I am where I am. So this wig is made by Motown Tress Human Hair Blend Wig. Um, I have it in the color RT1B Brown Blonde, and her name is HB Melia. So this is the wig. And like I said, I paid $19.99, got it on sale. Y'all, this wig, when I tell y'all this wig, this wig is everything. That is the color that I got in RT1B Brown B Blondes. 
Yo, now, when I took this pack, this wig out the pack the other day, I was going to wear this on vacation, but I thought about it. I was like, no. So, what I did before I got ready to um prepare to take it with me, uh, I took a razor. And the part on this wig was a lot slimmer. Like, you could barely see it on this wig. So, what I did was I went in. I went in with my... um razor and i just removed some of that hair to open that part up to give me a little bit more part space because that part was too small to even resemble a natural part now that was the only thing that i didn't care for about that wig so far but it comes with you know the instructions or whatever the care instructions and how you wash it or whatever now this wig this part it's um it's more like a this closure is more of a silk based closure that's what it resembles it's more of a silk based, silk based closure which resembles a more natural it resembles a more natural looking part so it looks way more natural now this hair is very soft this is the color that i got in this is a beautiful ash blonde now this wig is a little on the frizzy side but that's okay because i know that's what's going to end up happening you know with the wig like i said i have not worn it yet this is how it came out of the pack and you kind of know with any wigs that have been colored um or anything like that the hair tends to be a little on the frizzy side it does tend to do it, especially when you move into your lighter colors. And this is an ash blonde. So I'm pretty sure it took a little processing of some things to get this wig this color. So it just has a little frizz to it. Now, I will end up dealing with that frizz part you know, later on down the line. And what I like to do when I have wigs that are kind of frizzy like that, um, I'll use a custard or either I'll use a hair, um, a hair, some type of hair cream just to kind of weigh it down and not necessarily weigh it down but to make that um to add some weight to it just to smooth it out and and flatten it out just a little now i'm not gonna put it on her right now because i'm just showing you how the wigs look but this wig um cap it comes constructed really nice now this wig i like that you can wear it middle part or you can shift your parts to the side and i'll show you how both of those look and i'm definitely gonna be wearing them all different ways because I love the way it looks. Now I have tried on all of these wigs. I have not worn any one of them but that blonde one yet. But um, yeah, I'm working on it. Now the only thing about this wig that I do not like, which I will be adding myself, um, is that this wig did not come with any combs, any combs, any clips. It didn't have anything in it. So when I have old wigs, before I actually throw them out, I actually cut out um all the comb attachments from those wigs before I throw them out, just in case. I have I get wigs like this one, but this wig came with no clips, no combs inside, on the sides or in the back, so it doesn't have any. It just comes with the um the scrap where you can adjust the wig. Now I did go ahead and put the wig on both sides on the um the tightest adjustment for this cap. Now I would say I would say this wig is um. It depends on how big your head is. It is kind of on the big um, big head friendly side. It kind of is. Uh, you would have to definitely try that out though. It fit, I have a very small head, so it did fit my head really nice. Now, if your hair is like way bigger than mine, you might have a little issue with this. Now, it does scratch, so it does scratch a lot. And like I said, I have it on the tightest setting, so it might, the tightest um, adjustment, so it might work for you. You know pretty well but i'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on like i said it has no attachments nothing for me to secure it on my head so yes it will i didn't notice when i tried it on it did slide around it did shift back when i tried to move it and play with it so yes y'all this is this is her like i said she is very very beautiful very beautiful now I'm trying to get the information on it like i said before her name is hb milia and that's by the motress like i said this is the ash blonde and again that color this wig is rt1b brown blonde and this is the ash blonde and um 
this wig is very long. It's very full, very voluminous. I love it because I love big hair. So if you are a fan of big hair, then yes. Now, I have not combed anything out. It came out the pack just like this. It is a brand new wig. It came fluffy just like this big hair. Now, I could take a, a big comb or a big brush and comb it out, but I do not want to bother anything on these waves. I don't want to bother anything on them. This wig comes mid midway of my back. It comes midway of my back. So it is pretty long and it comes here um, right under my breast in the front if you bring it to the front. So, yeah. That's how this wig looks. Now, what I would do to make this part a little more realistic is I'll go in with some concealer. And, um... I'll just conceal that to my color, my skin tone color, um, just to make it look a little more believable. Now, it doesn't look extremely, you know, off the wall or whatever, but it looks really nice. Now, another thing I will opt to do, which I will try and do, um, or what I know I would eventually do, uh, if I don't want to do um, the method with putting the concealer there, which I will anyway, because I want it to be a little... Like a little more believable. But um, you can slide this wig back just a little behind your hairline. And you can leave out some of your hair on both sides of that part and blend it out. Now, I will wear my hair like that too because you can do that to some wigs. So, I will wear my hair like that too to make it a little more believable as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, this hair is so like This is photo shoot glam. This is that. This is that wig. Like, this is the wig that you wear if you want to step out, party, it's your birthday. Like, this is that wig. Baby shower wig. This is a celebration wig. That's why I'm going to call this my celebration wig because this wig is it. This wig is it. My birthday is coming up um, next month. So, I'm definitely thinking about wearing this, wearing her for my birthday. Yeah, because she is, she is beautiful. But, yeah, that's how she looks. That's how she looks. Now, I'm going to show you how she looks when I shift my part to that left. Because y'all know I am going to wear her like this because I love some bang time. And um, I love hair in my face. So, you can wear her to the side as well. Let me get that tag out of the way. You can wear her to the side as well. Just like this. So you can wear her to the side like that as well. And I love all my hair to fall to my right. So I always shift my wig to the furthest of my eye. I always put it, you know, directly parallel to my eye. Because I like hair to fall in my face. Now, if you don't like a lot of hair in your face like this or whatever, you can shift it back a little towards the center and the less hair be in your face. And that's on either side. So I'm going to shift it. On this side, which you will never ever catch me wearing a wig on this side because I hate my hair to fall on the left side. I absolutely do not like any hair to fall on the left side of my face. And it's sometimes I go um, in the store to purchase wigs and it's the perfect wig. I love the color, love the style. It looks nice, but it only falls to that left side. And I'm not a lefty girl. I'm a righty girl. My hair has to fall to the right. So, yeah, I do not like left side anything. Now, I'm getting ready to show you how it will look if you were to pull it up a little. Half up, half down. Like, like I, I wear my wigs all kind of ways, you know. I play with them all kind of ways. So, you can wear her. You can wear her up. I wouldn't wear her up just because um, it doesn't have a natural hairline from ear to ear. It just It just has a part, so I would not wear it up. But if that's how you want to wear it, that's your preference. If you can make that work for you, then go ahead. But I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, that's this wig. Like I said, she's really pretty. Really pretty. Um, She is really soft. She is really soft. But like I said, if you're not into the big, big hair, this is really huge hair. So, if you're not into the big hair and you don't like that frizzy look, kind of worn look, then I wouldn't recommend this wig because that's how she looks. Um, and like I said, that kind of comes from 
her being uh, already colored. Now, if you want to wear her all to the side, you can do that as well. You can do your nice pony. Wear nice pony to the back. You know? You can kind of do whatever you want with her. I will only be wearing her um long. Because that's just how I wear my wigs. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove her. And like I said, um, I haven't named them yet. <laughs> I normally don't name them. But uh, I like I said, I am going to... I am gonna name these, which it really doesn't matter, but because they have names already. But um, like I say, this one is definitely gonna be my celebration wig, and I actually think this is gonna be my birthday wig. So, on to the next wig. I'm going to save. I'm going to save the other one for last, cause I really want y'all to be able to see that one. Now, this next wig, y'all, I cannot wait to I, um, actually pull all this stuff out in this hair to wear the style, y'all, because I am an absolute freak for big hair. I love big hair. I just love big hair. So, this wig, that's the reason why I bought this wig, because when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, yes, I got to have this. I ordered this wig immediately. Like, I searched a couple of sites, so I found the right price. Now, I ordered these wigs. I ordered this wig. And my other wig, don't even make me lie, I'll leave the website where I ordered these two from down below. Now, this wig, <clears throat> I think I paid, uh, I don't even want to lie to y'all. I'll put the the price and stuff in the video, but um, all together, I paid 60 or 70 something dollars for both of them, I think, with shipping. I ain't sure, don't quote me on that. But um, it wasn't no more than seventy dollars for both of them, um, including shipping. So this wig, y'all, I'm telling y'all, girl, if y'all little be here, she gonna be it for you. She gonna be it. So this one is made by Sensational, which is also another fantastic hair company. This is called a textured lace wig. Oh my god, if y'all like kinky curly hair, she's it. Her name is Rainmaker. And I got her in the color 1B. Now, she does come in other colors, but like I said, I got her in 1B. Now, I kind of think that I should have gotten her in maybe a 2 or a 4. Um, just because some styles in some wigs are... Um, the Jet Blacks and the 1Bs are... They, they, the shade ranges um, vary in different brands. So, sometimes... 1B is a lot darker in one brand than another brand. So, y'all kind of know how that works. So, this wig is not too bad of a of a black. But it is it's dark. Um, like I said, I, I would have liked it better maybe in a 2. Maybe a 2 get it, to have a little more brown in it to kind of, you know, complement my skin. But this wig, y'all. Boom. There she go. That's Rainmaker. That's Rainmaker. Now, y'all, I love big hair. I cannot wait that she looks like this. Now, she does not look like this out of the pack. And I'm getting ready to show you how she looks straight out the pack. I got her right here in my hand, hanging low. And um, what I'm thinking is, um, of course, I'm going to pull some of it out. But I'm not going to pull all of it completely out. Because, of course, over time, the hair is going to mat more. And it's going to... The older it gets, the better it's going to look. Y'all ladies know how that go too with certain styles, certain hair, um, certain wigs and stuff. The older that wig looks, gets, the better it looks. And this is definitely going to be one of them wigs that I got to break in. And I'm going to break her in because I want her to look like this. Right now in her current state, she does not look like this. But she's very beautiful. Like I said, this is a 1B. This is made by Sensational. This is a tailored texture curl kinks and company. It's 100% percent premium fiber it is recommended for all curl types from 3b to 4c and like i said she's in 1b so this cap um does have the lace that you're gonna have to cut off and she did come with two combs in the front on the side and one comb in the back now she also has an adjustable cap as well in the back this wig is pretty large hair friendly so it will fit a large head because this one kind of scratches a lot more than the other 
and although I don't have it to the tightest setting back here, it is on the actual loosest one. So that's probably why. Um, but it, it should fit up. Head slightly larger than mine. Even though I have a small head. Very small head. So, this is how Rainmaker looks. She kind of has like a drop spiral curl. And like I said, it's going to take me pulling these curls out. And I'm not going to pull all of them out because eventually they're going to drop more and they're going to kink more. And oh, this wig is going to be the bomb, y'all. And I'm going to come back and do a update video after I done broke her in a couple of times to show you how she's supposed to look. She's supposed to look like this picture. Now, if you look at this picture and you look at this wig, they don't go together. They don't go together. But we're going to get them there. So this wig you can wear in the middle part as well this is um it doesn't have a natural hairline so um i would say it goes from ear to ear because i have a small head it does go from front ear to ear um but you cannot part it you cannot part it anywhere else it has a middle part but it does go from ear to ear with that hairline in the front now this is a very thick thick coarse textured wig and i love it she's very thick very coarse very textured now see what i was talking about this a 1b but see how she's still a little on the dark side i would prefer maybe a two to a four to kind of give me more brown kind of bring my skin out now this wig is gonna be pretty on me but it's gonna look it's gonna look really bold and um sometimes i just don't want it to be bold i want it to kind of not be natural so i'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on and i'm gonna attach it like i always do my wigs the two combs are here so i'm gonna stick that comb up under this side of that um beige cap and i'm gonna stick it up under that side of the beige cap and then i always take the back and i pull it down and attach that i do not have it on the um tightest setting so it's fitting kind of big right now but I'm not stressing it because I know I can adjust it. So, this is this is the wig. This is how she looks like this. I do not like her in the state at all. So, of course, like I said, what I'll end up doing is going in and pulling these curls loose. Now, when I put it on the other day, what I found that works for me in wearing this style i guess until i break her in but i found that i like i do like this and i didn't do this the other day but i do like it pulled back like this um i am definitely going to be pulling these out more because i do not like this spiral look i want it to look like a picture but what i did find that works for me and i really love it in this state is i shifted it like i told you i'm a shift girl like i shift all my wigs and when i shifted that bad baby y'all look at here Tell me, baby, she ain't gorgeous. Like, she is it. She is it in this particular style, in this state. See, she's giving me that. Mm, uh, eh. She's giving me all of that. She's really giving me all of that, y'all. And um, I won't say that I'm going to try to tweeze any of this hairline out. And make it look natural because that's just kind of like a waste but y'all look at her look at her now this is the only way i would wear this wig in this textured state right now with these spiral looking drop curls is to wear it shift it to the side like this because it does not look good on me you know wearing it middle part bust down the middle it's just it just looks too big and it's just not complimenting you know my face it kind of makes it kind of makes my face look um, very, very, very small. And I don't like the way it looks like this. Um, this wig, she stops about, where does she stop? She stops about right here. She stops about right here. And um, she stops here when I stand up. I do not like the way this look. I kind of look like, um, I don't know. I just don't like the way that looks like that. 
I don't like the way that looks. Now, if I wear it back like this, and that's cute, if I pull that back, I can wear a middle part like that and then let the curls and stuff fall to the front like that. That'll be cute. But, y'all, how I'm going to wear this wig until I break it in, however, I'm going to always keep that part to the side. Even once she gets broken, I'm going to keep her to the side because that's how I want to wear this one. I want to wear her to the side. So, I want to wear her to the side like this. She is the bomb.com. She is the bomb, honey. She is the bomb. And like, I love me some bang time. So I like to push, bang, bang, boom. Ooh. Yes, y'all. Yes. That's how I, that's how I love for this in the look. So, yep. Yeah. Like I said, if you don't like a lot of hair on your face, you just move that part a little bit closer to that side. So, however you wear it. I like mine. I like deep parts, deep side parts. So I like to shift my wig all the way to the side if I can. Now, when I get ready to wear her, I am gonna go in. That's how her part, that's how the part looks now. You know, that's how it looks right now. And that's um without having anything up under there, any cap showing through or anything. That's um that's just that wig itself. And again, this um That's how that looks. It looks like a regular lace closure. And, um, yeah, I'm going with her like this. Oh, y'all, baby, when I cut this lace off of this wig, now, I probably will go in and use my, um, Ghost Bond or either my, um, for some reason, I just don't care for the bow hole. It just won't do right for me. To each his own, if that's what you like. If that's what works for you, then, you know, yeah. But the ghost bond seems to work better on me and on my clients when I install lace frontals or, you know, stuff like that. They like, I mean, I like the way it um, adheres and how it lasts and holds on the head versus that bow hole. The bow hole just won't do right for me. I don't know what, what it is. It, I, I followed the instructions has everyone else do that use bow hole but it just does not work for me so yep this is that wig and yeah y'all i'm gonna have so much fun with her i'm gonna have so much fun with this wig like i said this ain't a bad color i like this one b but i would i would like this better maybe a two or four um maybe a two or four now i would not wear this in a um in any other color i wouldn't wear this hair in any other color if they had it you know, with blonde streaks, so I wouldn't wear it in any other color. I only like it in this color because it resembles natural, big, kinky, curly hair. And that's what I love. I love big, kinky, curly hair. And that's what she gives me, big, kinky, curly hair. So, I'm going to remove her. And I'm going to put her, y'all, let, let me show y'all something I did, y'all. I didn't do a, um, I didn't do a, you, uh, video on how i did it i did like a um a pictorial when i did it and y'all she is beautiful she's beautiful so before i put the wig back on her i must show you i must show you her now um i've had this for a long time before they started revamping them before they started making them up i've had this for a long time and she's always been plain jane and bald headed so, um, I decided since it was everybody else was doing theirs and I had mine for a long time, I was going to go ahead and do mine. So I decided to beat my baby face, y'all. She did not have to look like this. She was an old plain Jane. I gave her some mm, lashes. Like, that's what I did to her. You know, I beat up, I beat that face. Like when I tell you she totally transformed, I'm going to put a clip in. I'm going to insert a clip somewhere up here so y'all can see how she looked before she looked nothing like she looks now like she is totally transformed she has makeup on and nothing is coming off she just she just beat bald and beats she's bald and beat and um i added these lashes to um the only thing I didn't change is I didn't go in and change her eyeball color. I left her eyeball color how it was, and it was like a, a greenish hazel. 
and that's what it still is and it really complimented her eyes when i did her makeup so that was that was cute and um i just kind of left her lips um i did put a little matte i put some matte um i put some matte lipstick on there it's like a mauve color if you could tell i put up but anyway i this is this is who i had um dream maker so this is who i had rain maker sitting on sitting on and um yeah she was looking real lovely up at the top of my dress you know with this wig on like she was looking pretty 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 so yeah this is how um she looks on the mannequin now she looks good um middle part on her her face her face looks really nice middle part but it's not that it looks bad on me middle part i just prefer to wear it to the side now maybe one day i will wear it in the middle i don't know who knows but i just like it better to the side once it gets once it gets bigger and start matting then that's when i'll wear it to the middle part but until then she gonna be flipped to the side like this with some bang time see look how fabulous she look yes girl yes but y'all let me do my last wig that i have y'all and after this video i am gonna be ordering me another wig because i was watching some videos on youtube not too long ago and it's this new wig that came out well actually it just came out i'm just finding out about it because the videos i was watching these are videos from 2018 this wig came out in 2018 but i ain't know nothing about her but i'm about to get them um one of them all i can remember is the name the girl said um one of them name is um what's the girl name the name of the wig they named the wigs one of them name is um i don't remember i don't remember it'll come to me i'm gonna come make it tell y'all but anyway them wigs is bomb like when i tell you bomb it's big voluminous curls at the end like because i don't really care for wigs or hair that start curly from the root and come on down that just i don't like that i like it to come on straight and get down and bam boom do that thing at the bottom that's how i like my wigs and that's how the wigs is like what was the name of them wigs what was the name of them wigs solara sonara solara i don't remember but i'm a i'm a i'm coming back once i get once i order those weeds i'm gonna do a video now that weeds been out since 2018 and i just i did price the um price those weeks that i saw the review on both of them and it was like running 60 dollars 54.99 59.99 they're still running that price but like them two weeks done switched the whole wig game up and i ain't even know about it like I ain't even had nobody. Now, I do got some other wig reviews on my channel here that I've done, you know, a while back. But it ain't nothing like these wigs that they got coming out now. Like, well, that done came out that I ain't knew nothing about. But, yeah. Now, this last wig, yo. I did not order her in the color. When I first seen um, this wig, the color was teal that I saw this wig in. And the girl was rocking that teal. And I was like, ooh, I'm ordering that now. And then I thought about it. I was like, okay, well, I done bought these other wigs and all these other colors. So let me just kind of get something subtle. So I decided to order me a one. I ordered a 1B. But I am going to go back and order the teal once I find out how it looks on me and everything. Now, the girl that I saw wearing it, baby, when I tell you she killed that wig, she killed that wig. Literally killed that wig. And I was like, oh, I got to order that. So I did that same night. I found it. Did my little research on different websites and found it for the cheapest that I could find it. And um, the cheapest I found this one was $49.50. I don't remember. That was the cheapest I found this particular week. So anyway, like I said, I took all of them out the boxes. I still got the boxes, but after I do this video, I'm throwing all of them away. And I'm only keeping the cards. And I really don't need to keep them either because I'm doing a video that I'm posting on my channel. Um, But this one is called Empress Lace Parting Wig. Now, it says you can wear as is. One, wear as is with deep hand-tied lace parting. Or two, you can cut that part and blend with your own hair. Now, I will not be cutting this wig at all. Just because 
I ain't buy her to cut up. I bought her because she had lace on her. And I want her to remain that way. So, her name is D. Now, D looks very nice once she is on. You hear me? Now, um, this model on this thing, whatever, she cute. When on the picture, whatever, with the wig. But that picture really ain't doing justice for the wig, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I ordered her in a 1B. This is the Empress Lace Parting Wig. Lace Part ting the um and this saying the color that's showing the picture is the plum purple which i did not get that color i just don't care for that color but this is 100 percent premium fiber it says nothing about you can apply heat or anything to this wig which i don't recommend you do that with any wig anyway because they plastic basically that's what a mixed blend wig is they plastic it's not human it ain't meant to tolerate a whole bunch of heat it ain't meant to bump boom curl straight and flat it ain't meant to do none of that because it's synthetic so now with all these and all these wigs synthetic wigs is just just that they're not human they're synthetic so they are going to tangle i don't care if you had this wig for however long you did whatever to it you only wore it one time it's gonna tangle it's it is gonna lose some hair i'm not gonna really say shit it's, it's going to lose some hair. So, um, and I normally don't lose hair in my wigs unless I'm maneuvering that hair. So, if I ain't touching my hair, the hair ain't none of my wigs that I've ever worn. I'm touching the hair and the hair just falling out all over the place. I don't have them kind of wigs. I don't have them kind of problems. But, they do lose hair when I run my fingers through them and maneuver them. And I'm just talking about wigs in general. They do, um... But if I remove them with my hand, they do lose hair. So that just, you do that with your own hair. But anyway, this is how she looks. This is D. That's D. Now, this is one of the other ones that I ordered off the website. And I don't even know what website I ordered off of because it's a new website that I found. And, um, yeah, I ordered off of there. But this is D. Now, like I said, I ordered D in 1B. So, mine's going to be all black. Now, I did try her on, but I have not worn her yet either. She still has the tags on her, too. I've already taken her out of the pack, but I did put her back in the bag because I did take this one on vacation with me as well as back up. But, baby, when I tell you it was hot, it was too hot for water and water parks and beach to put on a long wig. I just was not about to do it. So, and then, by the way, this is a new wig, so I didn't want to mess her up and get her um, matted and all messy looking and i ain't wore it yet so now if this had been a wig i broke in for a while i might have considered wearing it but baby it was too hot for long hair at the beach anyway so this wig um she has a middle part no this is how her part looks no i didn't add anything that's how it comes that's the color of it now it does match my skin so i do not have to do anything to that really but i am going to add concealer to it just because that's what i do and um like i said when i don't want to use that concealer i just use my spray and more than likely i'll use the spray versus the concealer because once i do the spray you don't have to worry about going in every time you're wearing it and putting that line there you spray this on the back when it dries in that's it now the only way this is coming off of this wig is if you wash this wig which you're not probably going to do so use this instead of your makeup because i use only concealer that works good for me really and lasts and doesn't crease under my eyes my mac pro long um pro long wear concealer and i don't like to waste that baby on a wig because she's expensive i pay almost 30 dollars for her and she's expensive so yeah i use the spray and y'all i don't even remember but i don't even remember but I, I don't even remember where I bought this from. I don't even remember where I bought this from. But I probably ain't paid no more than $5 for this. But it works. And it lasts a long time. I use it on my clients too when they installing wigs or whatever. And they don't want to bleach the knots. Or they're getting synthetic wigs while it's installed. And they can't bleach the knots. Then I use that. And I'll spray it on the cap like this as well. So I'm getting ready to put her on. She does come with the two clips. I heard these two clips come directly in the front on the side of the part. It doesn't come on the sides like the other wigs do. The other wigs are in the front, but they are more to the side. These two combs are directly on the side of that part. Now, that is because, like I said, 
Um, you won't find your clips, your combs like this too often on wigs unless it's one of those wigs where you can cut that part and wear it as a basically a U part where you can blend your hair. So I'm not gonna be cutting this, so my clips, my combs will remain here. I'm not gonna try to move them or anything. So again, this is D. D looks a little frizzy, but she's really not. Um She's really not frizzy. But like I said, I, I love the way it looks. I don't like that old plain, silky, silky, straight, bone straight. I don't like all that, really. I like something that resembles a little bit more my texture or kind of looks more on the natural side. And bone straight, it don't look natural, natural on me. It's cute, but it don't look natural, natural. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this wig on. Like I said, this has a... um adjustable band in the back and it also has a comb right here in the back it has one comb in the back with long these two right here in the front so what i'm gonna do is take this two combs put it directly here in the front slide it up i always slide those clips whether it's on the side or in the front up under the cap i don't place it anywhere else but under that cap and i'm going to take that back and i'm gonna pull it on down and secure that in the back so this is how she looks in the front i haven't put anything on her as far as the part and that's how she looks so this is how big and full she like i said i love big hair she reminds me of um that block that ash blonde that i showed you not long ago she reminds me of her um She's real full, real soft. Really, 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 really soft. Like I said, this right here reminds me of really natural looking hair. Because it ain't tame. It ain't so tame to just too unbelievable, you know? Nah. This is how she looks. Now, I would wear her middle part. But I would wear her middle part if I was wearing something off the shoulder or um or backless i would wear her middle part other than that i probably wouldn't wear her middle part i will do my side boo because y'all know i love my side so i'm gonna show you how she looks in the back very 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 full very soft it's not really 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 long it comes about right here so i would say about a 16 it's a 16 to 18 inches is what it drops down in a curly. Um, so, yeah. That's what it dropped down to. Now, you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to bump, bump, bump. Oh, but I got to move it. I got to slide it out and push that thing to the side, baby. Okay, so now. Now, with this wig, if I want to wear it in a more natural state, I would... Um, do it like this without cutting it i can still wear it like a u part uh, and just leave a little bit of my edges out like i could actually take some of my edges out like this and blend it into that where you can't see where you can't see um where that wig started now i, I normally do some wigs like that but this is how she looks shifted and i like her better you know to the side now i do don't get me wrong. Where is one of them? I don't have none of them clothes. But I do like to wear my caps. Like some days, I even though I put on wigs and they be ready to go, sometimes I just like to throw on a, a cap right over that and be done. Like I don't have a cap near me at the second. Oh, yes, I do. How loop. I don't want y'all to be looking out in my room. It is a little junky though, but not too much. I don't want y'all looking all around my room, so I had to cover y'all up for a second. So, this is her. And I like the, this is some glam glam. Like this photo shoot, same thing as my Ash Blonde. Photo shoot, birthday, you know, going out. You want to be foxy, whatever. This is her. This is the wig. This is her. But like I said, I like to be lazy some days, even though these wigs don't require a whole lot. I like my caps. I just like my caps. So I'll take my cap and bam, 
I'm, I'm ready to go out. I just go out just like this. So if I don't have time to comb my hair real quick, I slap the cap. Even, I'm talking about literally comb my hair. If I don't, I'll slap a wig cap on it. I'll just pull it back real quick, slap that big black stocking cap on, slap this wig on, and pop that head on. And when I say y'all, I go out, people like, oh my God, I love your hair. It's so cute. I'm like, thank you, girl. Thank you. If only you knew what's up on there. They be like, girl, you so silly. But I'm like, for real, y'all really really wouldn't really don't know what's up under these wigs because um it's sometimes i do neglect my hair up under there i just don't do it but yeah this is her and i can wear her with a cap or without a cap i can wear her to the side for that sexy ooh we yes i can wear her like that uh-huh or I can put her back in the middle. See? Or I can put her back in the middle. Right there where she came from. Now, I don't know about all this. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily wear her up in a high ponytail. Um, would I wear her low? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't wear her to the side. Because I don't really care for the side ponytails. Unless I'm going somewhere but I, I always like to wear my hair down if i'm going somewhere i'm going out somewhere i don't club or anything like that so i'm not talking about clubbing party and going out i don't go out to clubs and stuff like that so when i go out and about this is how i look i like a real life barbie when i go out I like like a real barbie when i go somewhere that's just how i like look you never know who you're gonna run into you always got to be cute you got to stay ready stay ready and i stay ready whether i stay ready with a wig on and lace part slay or whether I stay on with a wig and my baseball cap slay. Either way, either way, I be ready. I be ready. So, yeah, y'all. That's how these wigs look, y'all. Tell me which one is y'all favorite wig. Tell me which wig you like on me better. Y'all, I am going to post the videos of me on vacation. With my blonde wig. Because y'all had to see me. Like I was slaying it everywhere. I was slaying in the pool. I was slaying in the jacuzzi. I was slaying on the beach. I was slaying everywhere in that blonde wig. So I'm going to post all of those pictures. In this video. Matter of fact. I'm going to post them here. So y'all can see them. I'm going to post them like right up in here now. So y'all can see all of the looks that I did. On vacation with that blonde wig. Like y'all got to get y'all one of the blonde wigs there. Like y'all ain't never... Had a blonde wig that just did you right, get that one. Cause she did be right. I've had several blonde wigs that I bought and got them back home and wore. I'm like, mm mm, baby, what you doing? Mm mm, just wasn't it. So yeah, and um, but yeah, yeah, I would wear this wig right here. I would wear this wig middle part, but I would also um definitely be wearing this wig to my right. Cause I'm a righty girl. I'm a righty girl. So yeah, that's what I'll be wearing. Um, if you ask me which wig is my favorite, I would definitely have to say the blonde is my favorite out of all of them. And then um, the la the least favorite one right now is that um is Rainmaker, and that's because she has not been broken in yet. And um, she does not look like the picture, which is the initial reason why I bought the wig. She does not look like that picture. So, yeah, me and Rainmaker got some work to do. Um, I really love my Ash Blonde. I really, really love the Ash Blonde. But um, I would have to say that D, which this is D, I would have to say that D is my second favorite out of all four of them. So, it, I would choose... Um, Zinnia, which is the blonde. This I will use D. Zinnia D. I would use I would choose the Ash Blonde. Like I said, my least favorite one at this moment would be um Rainmaker only because she has not been broken in to how I like her. And like I said, y'all, this hair right here is lovely. I if y'all don't like the big voluptuous full kind of frizzy broken look, then I don't recommend this wig for you because this is how 
the wig came out of the pack this is the natural state that it comes in uh, i am not going to pull any curls out i'm not going to brush i'm not going to comb i'm not going to try to tame any of this because i like how my hair looks like this like i like my hair to look like this so yeah I really like these wigs. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think down below. Like I said, I'll leave the information to where I got these wigs from. Um, other than the first two. Like the first two, the ash blonde and the blonde. I told you I picked it up from my local um, beauty supply store. So I can't really tell you where to go online and find those. Because I did not order those two offline. But I'm sure you'll be able to find them online with the information that i've given you with those cards that's why i saved those cards and did not throw those away i saved them just for y'all so um yeah y'all let me show you something else this is something else i've um for some reason started to like and i've been wearing these like once you've gotten those wigs that just can't ain't doing right no more with the hairline or the lace part whatever you got going on, they just got old and tired and stressed out and you don't know what to do with it no more Y'all, I have found these a lightsaber because I have another wig. I have a um, black root blonde wig at the bottom. It's black root all, you know, white blonde at the bottom. And um, she done had it with the hairline. She is a lace spot closure and she done had it up at that front. So, you know what I do to her? I put her on still. And um, I throw this bad boy right here on top. Right around that hairline. And I'd be like, bam, baby. That's how I wear. Matter of fact, if you can see her, you see up there on my dresser? She up there. She up there. So when I wear her, because I don't really like to throw my wigs, but I like to have choices, varieties. Like, I like to look different every day. Like, people see me, they're like, dang, girl, they used to have your hair like that yesterday. I'm like, yep. I just don't enjoy looking the same every day. I like to look different every day. Like, today, I look glamorous like this. Tomorrow, I might want to look just real natural real simple real laid back i just like to look different every day i don't like to look the same every day and i hope y'all don't like to look the same every day i just don't um but yeah y'all these are my wigs this is another one of the wigs that i like to wear <laughs> my wigs or yeah so y'all like i said i hope y'all enjoyed these videos um I hope y'all enjoying all of my videos, my nail videos, hair videos. I'm going to get back into doing some more makeup videos. I hadn't done those in forever in the day. Um, but I am going to get into doing more makeup videos and stuff for y'all. And, you know, teaching y'all some some of the latest tips and tricks that I've been doing to my face. Um, yeah. So, that's it, you guys. Like I said, um, leave what you thought about the wigs down below you know you got any questions any comments about these wigs just ask just ask me um yeah this video did go by, by pretty fast um i didn't intend for this to be a long video but when i like to ramble sometimes i like to ramble but like i said i do hope y'all enjoyed this video because i was very you know i i like to think that i was very detailed in telling you about the wigs and stuff um and what i thought about them and what i think about wigs in general um like I said, this I'm going to actually end up putting concealer on and, you know, blending into, um, to blend in with my skin color. And then I also definitely are going to take some of my edges out as I always do. Just a small bit. And you'll be able to see the difference in a minute. I'll take that out. And, um, I just like to blend that into that so it looks natural. But I always, also, I always take a little bit more out where you can't see that where it started. So, so you wouldn't be able to see that um, the line of the band of the wig. So yeah. And then once I have both sides out, I'll take a little edge control and just put a little edge control there just to hold it and put my concealer there or whatever. And yeah, my wig looks slayed. Well, like I said, I'll be back with updates on these wigs and tell you no more about them. But until then, you guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.